Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at the Toe Point. Is it Toe Point or is it Diabo? I don't know. Toe Point is a company that makes a whole bunch of different archery accessories based out of China. Compound bows, recurves, a whole bunch of accessories, sights and all that sort of stuff, release aids. Um, and this is their latest target compound bow on offering. Now they have made target compound bows before, um, but this is the latest so I wanted to show you this bow. So some quick stats about this bow, 38 inches axle axle, 330 feet per second, um, IBO, uh, comes in two cam options, 124 to 27.5 and 127 to 30 inch in draw length with a rotating module. It's a twin cam system, so same cam top as bottom with yokes in, built into the cam, very much like a PSE and very much like the Darton cam system, there's probably some other manufacturers which have cams like this. Um, mass weight on this bow is, um, is published at 4.76 pounds. It's, um, I put it on scales and it came in slightly under that at 4.67, so 0.1 pound lighter, which is unusual for a bow manufacturer. Um, brace height on this bow, I'm going to guess 8, and I'm just going to look at the specs on that. Um, 7.48 um, inch brace height, so quite a long brace height. Now this bow comes in a whole bunch of different anodized colors. This is the blue. Um, it comes in orange, red, green, pretty much any color you can think of. Now this is now like a matte finish. Now Toe Point used to do a shiny anodized finish and they've gone to a matte. Now I've noticed that on the latest Unison risers that just came in, they've gone matte as well. Now with the overall finish of this bow, I'm gonna say it's pretty good. Um, when we zoom around, metal limb pockets. These limbs are standard Gordon Glass limbs that fit on all bows. Um, this sort of system you see on the Matthews, this, this you use um, for your bow presses when you put it in a bow press. Little fingers go in there and it has a double feature that um, if you dry fire your bow it stops the um, limbs falling apart. Um, the modules to change the draw length. You do not need a bow press and there's the stop right there. Um, now with bows, I'm going to say Elite, do this bridge riser design here. Um, I don't think Elite's the only company to do that. Obviously PSE do it now as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of bow companies which do this and this is new for Toe Point, the bridge riser design, top and bottom. Um, a lower mount cable guard, uh, balance on the bow. Slightly top heavy, which is good for target archery because you're going to put a big stabilizer on the front of it. The grip feels narrow, so it feels very much like a Hoyt grip. Um, similar to an Elite grip if you're familiar with Elite, but Elite start wider at the bottom then sort of narrow in. So this is definitely thinner than a PSE grip. Um, more rounded around the edges here, so it feels quite comfortable to shoot. The cable guard on this is unique. Um, you can adjust the cable guard left and right and change the angle in or out to reduce torque on the cables, which is a nice feature. Um, so things I like about this bow, I love the fact that the um, modules are the same color as the riser, which is the same color as this yoke system here. This yoke system is very similar to what's used on the Matthews. Um, I think High Country is the system and I think there's a few other boat companies which use this. I'm going to throw Obsession in there and they may not, but I think they do use this system as well. Matthews is the one I best know it on and definitely High Country have been using this yoke system for a number of years. Um, the machine limb pockets are quite nice. Um, machine down here as well, which is good. The cable stop is fairly standard, a good little system. These um, cable guard bolts into the riser in two spots. This is good. Only one spot for your sight, so that's fairly standard. PSE does have multiple with this bow. You obviously can't fit it. The strings to me look, look they look okay. I'd prefer them in a colored finish, so I would prefer these strings to come blue and black maybe, or blue to match the blue of the riser. But it is what it is. Um, Overall this bow looks nice. I like the way it's um, adjustable. I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. Now let's go to the manual. Now most bow manufacturers have manuals for 
the company and not for specific bows. This is this manual is specifically for this bow. It's in English, which is a good good feature. Um, it's got specs there to tell you about the bow, how to increase and decrease the bow poundage, which I'm not going to go through. A little chart there to show you what setting on the module is what draw length, which is nice. Now I Hoyt put that on the limb. Look, I'm happy for it to be in the manual. I would probably prefer it on the limb. Now on the limb of this bow, this is a 60 pound bow. All they've got featured is 60 pounds. So I prefer a toy point to have a sticker here to say what size cables you've got, what size string you've got. Um, specs on this bow to say what the draw length is from what size to what size. Now they do have a little card here which is quite good. It's very simple and it's got all the basic specs, 330 feet per second, 4.67 in pounds. Um, actually, it's interesting, the, the card says 4.67, I'm sure on their website it's 4.76, but when I waited it was 4.67. CNC machine riser, it comes in 50 or 60 pounds, 24 to 27.5. Now, I ordered this bow wrong, I made a mistake. So I originally was hoping to get the 27 to 30 so I can bow test this and I ordered a cam 2 and I actually should have been ordering cam 1. So I'm just hoping that um, Gimli from Lord of the Rings comes into my shop wanting to buy a target bow because otherwise I'm stuck with this thing, seriously, like 24 to 27 inches. And there's going to be someone out there who's going, that's me. There's just not many people that draw length. So and yes in ladies there is but not in 60 pounds so i prefer this bow available in 40 pounds as well um, for that shorter draw length um, so this this tag here has your string sizes all on it um, quite a nice simple the graphics are quite nice 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 finished bow overall um, so let's just try the draw cycle out it's so it's a very smooth draw cycle. This is a 60 pound bow and it feels like a 50 pound bow. So I'm getting on this cable guard, I don't know why Toe Point did this, they're using a plastic cable guard. They have got matching cable slides for their bows made out of aluminium, which they should be fitting on this bow in my opinion, to stop it um, gripping. And otherwise use a Teflon cable slide here to stop it gripping, because this is just annoying how it grips. So, it starts off, it's it's a pretty standard pull, and here it's done in drop off, dropping off, dropping off, dropping off, and dead solid. It's very solid once I'm back here. Now this says it's 75% let off. For me, I can't feel that, and there's no way in high heaven this is a 60 pound bow. So I've got a scale here, let's try this out. I'm guessing 50. Fifty-two pounds. So this bow, even though it's rated at sixty pounds from the factory, fifty-two pounds is what it came straight out of the box. I haven't touched this bow. I haven't done anything to it. Now you're going to say, "Well, now I'm going to talk about quality here." When you're comparing a Chinese product to an American product, and Mr. I'm going to say Mr. Lee. God, is it? Is everyone Mr. Lee in China and Korea? All the companies I deal with are Mr. Lee. I don't know. His name's probably not Mr. Lee. He's going to hate me. But um, I'm going to say Mr. Lee. Like the quality when this stuff comes out of this out of the factory, it should be 60 pounds. Um, this is not a cheap bow. This is not the toe point is they produce a lot of cheap products as far as bow low end beginners. This bow is not that. This this bow while it's got all the features of the top end bow. Retail in Australia, this is going to retail probably between $850 and $900. Now that puts it cheaper than the American products for sure. No question about that. So, you know, your, your American products, the PSE Supra Focus is $1350, the, the Elite Victory $1300, Hoyt Prevail $2300, the Elite Echelon um, $1900. So this is cheaper, okay, but when you get, you know, 52 pounds, people are not going to be happy with you and that's, this is the bits they need to fix up because overall, overall he's made a nice product. 
that people are not going to accept the poundage being too low like that. Now I don't think this is going to shoot 330 feet per second also. The draw cycle is way too smooth. Um, some of the machining, I'm going to say there's little lines here on the riser you can hopefully see that's not it's not ideal. Um, there's some little marks up here on the machining. I'll hopefully get those in. Look, but overall I think this will be a great bow to shoot. There's some little marks just up here on the machining. In the inside here there's some little marks. Look, I would prefer this bow probably to be shiny, a shiny matte. Um, but I think this is a nice bow and I don't know if it's going to sell. I don't know if it's going to sell because the top line archers around the world are going to be uh, get paid by big bow manufacturers to shoot their product. Um, however, I think there's a couple of little things here that Toe Point could improve. Cable slide for one. That poundage needs to be 60 pound. If it comes out of the factory, it needs to be 60 pound. If they publish this bow at 60, this would be okay if it was a 50 pound bow, right? If it was a 50 pound bow and it comes out at 52, well, pff, that's that's fine. But 60 to 52, not acceptable. Um, so overall, um, I will do a review of where we shoot this bow and see how it goes. It's just I just wanted to show it to you, show you what it feels like and what it you know this is the latest offering from toe point now there was a i did see a thing on facebook where there was someone in europe um asia who did win a tournament with one of these um but nice thing now for the american companies colored modules with colored risers with colored yokes a must i cannot stress how important it is when you're shooting a good looking target bow to make everything match and make everything look pretty so my recommendation for toe point Fix the cable ca cable slide, some pretty strings on it, make the strings look pretty. Um, fix the poundage, the quality assurance. When the bow gets made, it needs to have someone pull it on a pull it on a draw board and check the poundage. Um, but besides that, I think this is a pretty nice product. I think the price point's a little bit high. Um, toe point do sell well on the market. You're not going to get that backup service that you get with the American products with lifetime service. Um, I don't know what the warranty is offered by Toe Point. I'm going to guess a year. Um, but overall, I think it's a really, for me, it's a next step of the Chinese compound bow development. Um, and I think that they're approaching very quickly the top end of the American product. I think this is a pretty decent product. I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. The more you shoot, the better you'll shoot. And it doesn't matter whether you shoot this bow or a cheaper bow, that will never overcome the amount which you practice and whether you're a good archer or not. So don't think if I buy a $2,000 bow, I'm gonna shoot better than the guy with a $1,000 bow, because that guy with a $1,000 bow shoots more than you. He's got bad technique. He's gonna outshoot you every time. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.